Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with our SBR contributor, Jordan Sharp, and today we're going to be looking at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. How you doing today, brother? Doing, do doing good, Dax. Thanks for having me back. All right, it's a pleasure, man. All right, this line had a ton of movement since opening up as a pick of minus 110 either way. Now, since then, it's gone up to minus 2.5 and, and then down to 2 and then minus 1 in favor of Arizona, of course. And everyone seems to be split with this one. I mean, books like Five Dimes still have it at pick'em, but with a minus 125 juice in favor of the cards. Now, I mean, I know it's going to be a tough game. We got two great defenses, a 7-2 and two team and an 8-1 and one team. And the only difference that I see here or the only lack of... of uh, of, 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 of an issue here would be the fact that Carson Palmer is not going to play. So that might be something that, you know, might shift it a little bit. But still, I mean, they're still two good teams that could actually surprise us and, you know, probably even go to overtime. What do you think, man? Yeah, talk about devastating injuries. Uh, a team that was flying high uh, this season against another team this week, the Detroit Lions, who are having a pretty good season, you know, considering that I don't think anyone really gave them a chance when they saw the rosters of the Bears and the uh, Packers this season. And both those teams, one got off to a slow start and is rebounding. One got off to a slow start and never recovered. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, you look at uh, both these teams right now, you're right. It's going to be a very close game. Uh, probably a game where I'm going to personally lay off the spread unless I think, in, uh, if, unless you're making a real, you know, small wager on the Detroit Lions money line just because of the the uh, the, the Drew Stanton versus uh, of Carson Palmer switch. Yeah. So if that's the case, I think go for it. If not, I don't trust anything that's going on with this game right now and with the uh, quarterback change in Arizona. We saw that earlier in the year when Carson Palmer sat out that he just that 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 it, without him this offense just is not the same. Well, and Ar Arians uh, is pretty bullish with that. I mean, he's even saying that he trusts that the team can actually win the playoffs even without Palmer. Yeah, well, he's the coach, and he's supposed <laughs> to say that. Now, I don't believe it, and from what we saw earlier in the year, I don't think that's true, and I think he deep down he knows that. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that with the defense the, playing the way they are, as long as they can continue to you know at least be solid against the pass, uh, which they have been over the last two weeks to maybe to even three weeks, uh, three or four weeks. So, uh, you know, I think that uh, I, I wouldn't say that uh, the spread is, is probably a, the best wager in this game. Personally, I think that uh, if you're going to do anything, the Lions money line, maybe. But if, if anything, the total right now, what do you think about the total at 41? I think that uh, that may be where the value stems in this one. I'm digging the under. I mean, we got two great defenses going up against each other, and we got one offense that's going to be going up against a pretty good defense. And we got the other side that's an, a, a rickety offense, you know, with uh, Stanton right now that's going to be going up a great defense. So I, I'm kind of thinking that we might not see that many points. Yeah, I think, I think you're probably right. I think maybe taking some, taking some more advantage of that knowledge without maybe wagering on the total here because it is so low at 41. Maybe some prop plays like uh, with the, like a race to the points type of thing, or maybe a, a bet on uh, like maybe a feel a lot of field goals. Uh, you know, this this could we could see that kind of game as well, considering this game's at Arizona, and um, you know both of these defenses are probably the offenses are good enough to get them down in the red zone, but yeah. not good enough to really punch them in. You know, so maybe that's something that you could look at as well. I'm just it, these numbers to me, they, I don't I don't really like either one of them. I, I just yeah. think that it, with the where with the way the spreads kind of spread all around from minus two to a pick them still, and the total being so low, I think this game may just be one that uh, is probably one to just watch and possibly lay off. Maybe just stick to. Uh, a teaser or a prop wager on this one, maybe not bet the uh, straight spread or total. Yeah, and I, and you know what? I'm, I'm actually starting to think a little bit that the quarterback issue sh might not be that much of a problem considering the team, you know, hadn't, hadn't done that bad with uh, Stan playing. You know, I think that the main issue is going to be that they can't actually run the ball. And that's what's actually been hindering this team, you know, because they haven't been able to get that successful run going. And, and especially now that they're going to go be going up against the, the Lions, you know. So that factors in right now. So they're going to probably be throwing the ball a lot and, and, and again, I mean, it's, it's just a matter of seeing who's going to be able to actually get the last points at the very end of the game, I think. Yeah, the, it, it may just come down to who has the ball in their hands down three or down two or whatever it is or tied, you know, in the last two minutes of the game. That, you know, they could come down to something, uh, something like that in this game because you are talking about two of the better teams um, in the NFC right now. But I just I can't see Drew Stanton playing, you know, well enough I think maybe maybe let's say he, I mean he could definitely win this game. I just I think long term for this team they're in trouble um, because even you know even though he didn't turn the ball really and 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 was was a solid game manager and did everything you wanted your backup quarterback to do you know really outside of you know throw downfield a lot. Um, 
you know, he, I just, I just can't see the, the, with, with the way that they're, they're structured, they need somebody who can get the ball 20, 30 yards downfield at times to all those really fast shifty receivers that they have on that club. So yeah. maybe, maybe this week it may not matter, but in the long run, this team is in a lot of trouble. I agree, man. I agree. All right, Jordan, as always, my man, it's a pleasure talking football with you and I look forward to doing this again next week, man. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.